Hello everyone, and we're back with Leah doing The Silent Spy. Would you like to introduce yourself and your co-host? Sure. Hi, I'm Leah. I'm running The Silent Spy, and my co-host is Lauren. Ooh. Awesome. Do you want to explain your incentives for everyone? Yes, sure. So if we reach... Okay, actually there's another incentive too. So if we reach $60, I'm going to do a giveaway of one of the posters from her interactive website, those travel posters, which are super awesome. And you get to choose which one you want. Um, also for every $5 up to um, 10 different donations, Lauren will read a spy fact or a Scotland fact, which is fun. And then my original goal was to do um, play the... Kate's theme on the flute. The sound quality is going to be weird over Discord, so it's a stretch goal, and you'll have to bear with me, but I think it'll be fun if it works. So, those are my goals. Yeah, we're so excited. Everyone get hype for that uh, <laughs> flute version of Kate's theme. Very exciting. Oh, yes. Okay, are you ready to start? Let's do it. Okay, let's go in three, two, one, go. This game is fun to speedrun because I love a dialogue skip, but there are so many cutscenes. <laughs> yeah. This game is sort of an oddball in the series because it's they spend so much time being like, you play as Nancy Drew, and then suddenly they're like, hey, you want to investigate Nancy's mom's murder? Also, by the way, Nancy's mom was murdered, and you go, oh, all right. Yeah, there's Where's a lot of layers here. <laughs> Drew Residence, Kate speaking. We just became, no kind of went rogue on this one. Morris, <laughs> I'll call you. I'm also continually fascinated by the choice to have Kate voiced by Lenny Manella doing absolutely mm -hmm. nothing different from yep. her Nancy voice. To the point that the first time I played it, because I played the beta version first, I thought that they were going to be, like, that was just a, a placeholder. And then oh, I, the original, like, I was like, oh, they're just, you know, they just haven't recorded those lines yet. And oh my gosh. Nope. <laughs> well, this game was the one that made me realize sort of how old Lonnie's voice does sound for Nancy when I heard her, you know, being Kate, so. Yeah, definitely. That's... So are there any speedrun strats for this one? I know this one game tends to be able, you can use the phone to skip things. Yeah. Uh, lots of time. Um, I mean, the big one, which I'm going to do right here, is this fun little Easter egg, um, which allows you to get 15 tickets at once. So you don't have to like spend a, a lot of money, which is great. But. I don't know, there's not a lot of RNG in this game. Like, it's pretty straightforward. American girl. Do I know Can't you? believe you just, like, you spoiled know. egg percent for everyone for this game. There's something very important I need to <laughs> See, like I said, I'm it's already gonna use, like, second place in the leaderboards for this. So. <laughs> it's a teaser. It's, it's a, a, a appetizer. Yep. So if you hear my cat in the background, that's my cat. <laughs> who's decided that it's time for dinner an hour early, as usual. <laughs> of course. So she's standing in front of my computer. Can you tell me? I got So yeah, Turbo says Nancy was cloned from her mom, right? Yeah, not only does she look like her, she sounds like her. <laughs> yep. That's how genetics work. And here's when we use this egg to buy 15 tickets for zero dollars. If only it worked like that in real life. <laughs> right? Uh, I don't think here we go. Why did you come alone? I need you to... A revenant. Oh, yeah. I was trying to explain this game to my friend yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, so she's getting these calls from like a quasi-terrorist organization yeah. who murdered her mom 10 years ago and is trying to release a uh, virus to destabilize the world, which didn't age super well. No. 
It really didn't. Fun fact, the voices in the pub are just like her employees. Vamp, Scott, really? Made noise. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Talk to you later. Goodbye. I think you can hear Kaylina Joyce, uh, aka little Jack Wolf in there. So like, <laughs> that's the only voice I could recognize. Yeah. I hate you once I'll hit you again. Are you looking for a smack? Moira, I really need to talk to you. It's important. If you want to talk, come back with some food. Oh. It's really annoying that Nancy doesn't like say who she is here. She's just like, let me talk to you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, introduce yourself, Nancy. Also, shouldn't Moira have recognized her voice? Yeah, because it's the same. <laughs> Kate Drew, is that you outside my door? <laughs> You're in Scott. Oh, this awkward stuff with her dad. He's just worried for her, and that's I think reasonable. Thanks. Yep. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay, we have our first donation for this run. Devon donated five dollars and says Kate's theme on flute. Need it. So true. Devon knows what's up. So I think we need um seventy more dollars before we get the, the theme on flute. Uh, so people should probably donate but sixty dollars and we'll open the giveaway. It does get you a fact though, so let's start it off with a spy fact, a CIA project in the 1960s called Acoustic Kitty tried to use a cat as a listening device to spy on the Soviets. A microphone was installed in the cat's ear canal with a radio transmitter in the base of its skull, and then the feline was released near a meeting of two men in a park outside the Soviet compound in Washington. Any cat owner would have predicted failure. The cat wouldn't behave as trained. The CIA abandoned the project after spending about $15 million. Was anyone following you? So, Not that I know. sounds right. The CIA continues no. to win and do cool. very good things for the world, and no. it's not a waste of money in any way. Pretty much all my spy facts are like the CIA wasted money. <laughs> yeah, they are. The, the FBI is in there too. The oh, yeah. <laughs> I also didn't fact check these, so <laughs> they're loose facts. It's, it's the same fact, uh, factual ways as every other fact that's been in the stream series. All yeah, together. fair. Oh, come, is that really industrial? Just a casual kidnapping. This must be the number Moira referenced for the fuses. I need to flip the fuses to equal the number from the team. I have a secret puzzle fuse box in my house. That's completely normal. Of course. <laughs> this must be for the safe house in Loch Lamont. Those letters are so sad, though. No, they really are. Uh, another cutscene. What? You mean Nancy can't just teleport somewhere? <laughs> I mean, it is realistic. Gotta take the train. Bess also sounds exactly the same as an eight-year-old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Bess, something's going on. It's bad. I mean, to be real, I don't sound much different from my eight-year-old self, so... No, you're not doing this! There's that. My voice is higher. You made me a People used to mix up my brother and I on the phone all the time. Huh? My voice dropped. Her mom doesn't care enough about her to stay. My sister and I would just, just like, she'd be on the phone with one of her friends, oh, and she would want Carson. to, like, take a break and go do something else, and she'd just hand the phone to I'm me, and I would pretend I was her, and none of them ever knew the difference. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. like it's missing a part. What we really need is incentives for a bagpipe magician. We need someone who can play a bagpipe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do. Let's give this a shot. When I was brainstorming incentives, Sarah suggested that I 
take a crossbow and zip line across um, a courtyard, but I decided that for the sake of time, I wouldn't do that. Okay, we have one more donation from Ethan, who donated $10 and says, let's get some facts. Hi, Ethan. That's my boyfriend. Thank you for coming. You Aww. get a Scotland fact. Um, the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh, is home to two dormant volcanoes. One is Arthur's Seat, which is a hike right on the edge of the city, and Edinburgh's castle, a historic castle on a hill overlooking the city. Yes, those... Both the volcanoes are absolutely beautiful. I went to Scotland in March, and it's just like straight up in the middle of the city. They're absolutely gorgeous. The safe house is so pretty, honestly. Yeah, it is. I'd just hang out here. I'd live there. Oh, yeah. I'd maybe get a new TV. <laughs> I have one more donation from Courtney. Courtney donated $5 and says, one fun fact, please. Thank you, Courtney. Okay, Let's see here. We'll go back to a spy fact. Uh, Earl Pitts spied for the Russians while working for the FBI in the 80s and 90s. The FBI set up a sting operation to catch him, but Pitts inadvertently thwarted their attempt by forgetting to where to meet his contact. He wandered around the wrong part of, part of the New York Public Library for half an hour before giving up and leaving. Excellent work. Excellent. Goodbye. Bye. Well, we already have one more donation. It is from Lissa slash Matt Pastel. And they donated $11 and says, I love me a sick flute solo. <laughs> So I think that's two facts then. Nancy. So we will do another spy fact and a Scotland fact. Uh, spy fact. As early as the 70s, the CIA was experimenting with a drone spy gadget disguised as a dragonfly, which is actually one of the bugs we see in this game. Mm -hmm. uh, this tiny UAV, or unmanned aerial vehicle, was powered by a gas engine because it was the 70s. Uh, but it also <laughs> had a major flaw. All it took was a crosswind to knock it off course. Uh, originally, they wanted to use a bumblebee, but its flying patterns were too erratic for a bug. And then, Scotland has three official languages. English, Gaelic, and Scots. Scots is an indigenous language, thought to be an ancient dialect of English, spoken by 1.5 million people in Scotland. And uh, Gaelic is a dying language, spoken only by 87,000 people. I had a linguistic teacher in college who was working on studying uh, Scots Gaelic. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. If I, could tell you everything I actually didn't know that it was still spoken in Scotland, and when I was driving through the Highlands, we found a radio station that was completely in Gaelic, and it was really cool to listen to. It is cool. Oh, this is a fun, weird thing. Um, for some reason, if you just kind of randomly click all those stones like this, it unlocks it <laughs> instead of doing the right pattern. Oh, okay. That's super fun. The uh, bugs that someone didn't catch? I guess so. I should also say it's Scots Gaelic and Irish Gaelic, but they are spelled the same way. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah. Opponent, but I beat you. He studied both of them. Cool. A bug. A bug. Pass this up. This Wasn't that in the bingo? Think a bug in any form. Yeah, but we put a copy of a copy. Oh, true. Earlier, so. <laughs> Very true. I always go the wrong way when exiting the train station. My luggage. 
Alec must have had it delivered. Wait, listen. Mom's stuff is Alrighty, we have another donation. Wow. We have $20 from Jimmy, who says, to my favorite speedrunner. Aww. That's my boyfriend. <laughs> we love support of significant others in this chat. Oh, yes. Uh, all right, so let's finish out the spy facts. Uh, the British government didn't acknowledge the existence of MI6, which is the UK's foreign intelligence agency and also famously James Bond's employer, until 1994. So they just... Refuse to admit that it exists. <laughs> I like had no idea about that. I need to take no, I didn't either. Um, for Scotland, Scotland's national animal is a unicorn. Uh, lore dating back to the ancient Babylonians said that unicorns are the natural enemy of lions, and lions happen to be the national animal of England. Coincidence? So mm -hmm. I think not. Did you know it? <laughs> uh, two more Scotland facts. Scotland holds the Highland Games each year, which includes yeah. events such as Scottish hammer throwing, weight throwing, and its most famous caber toss. I didn't actually look up how to pronounce that one. Uh, which is how you toss a 16 to 22 foot wooden. But it's not about how far you throw it, it's all about the angle that it lands. Hmm. And last uh, Scotland fact for this run is, or for this donation, is Scotland is known for its scotch, which is whiskey produced entirely in Scotland. And when you have a glass of scotch, it's called a wee dram. One f major f flavor that separates scotch from other varieties of whiskey is peat, which is the partially decomposed organic material found in swaps and bogs. Gross, but tastes good, I promise. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had whiskey, or scotch, I've had whiskey. It's good, but it's definitely like, more intense than other whiskeys because of the peat a lot of times. I would. Hmm. Hmm. All right, time for some intense rock music. Yes. Oh, actually, I think it's the next time we do it. It gets kind of middle. <laughs> Ethan, you did caber toss in your high school gym class? <laughs> okay. Let's so just zip line across the courtyard. That's totally fine. Yeah, no problem. No one is looking up and it's, it's fine. <laughs> and also zip lines work both ways because that's how gravity works. Yep. That scene was so iconic when this first it it, really this game first came out. Everyone was losing their minds. Yeah. <laughs> um, I still lose my mind. We have one more donation to read from Sarah. Sarah donated $10 and says, Leah is so smart and beautiful and kind. Keep up the speed. Oh my she gosh. That's so nice. <laughs> and that brings our total for this run so far up to $61. All so right. we can open up the giveaway for the poster. Um, if you type incentives in chat uh, or like exclamation point incentives there should be a link to what the posters look like if you haven't seen them um but you can type hashtag speedy in chat if you haven't won one of our giveaways yet and enter to win they're actually really beautiful posters and we also have one more scotland fact uh scotland is home to one of the oldest trees in europe named the fulton gall yew it is an ancient yew tree uh taxis bacata I did not look up any of these pronunciations. Sure, me and is estimated <laughs> to be two thousand to three thousand years old. About a dead drop? It's an old tree. It is. We might be able to intercept the package. Ah, oh, here's the metal music. Mm -hmm. They don't really show you going her going back up though. They just <laughs> really understand this dialogue but i just yeah i don't know <laughs> i think part of that's a function of the speed run and part of it is a function of like this is one of the games where sometimes dialogue is out of order yeah <laughs> i love this puzzle i think it's so great at this and yeah. honestly it's the same kind of vein as the um the bridge puzzle at the end of labyrinth of lies that we were talking about yes. earlier yeah um but i just think it's really clever it is. I like it. 
see if I can remember how to do it. Yes, it's good. But also, I feel like it's kind of functions the same way as those, like, the tower puzzles where you have to move the rings between the pegs. Like, it's just in, yeah. in planning what order you have to do things. Okay, I have breaking news. We just got a huge donation. Well. From Cameron Kunzelman? Kunzelman? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But Cameron donated $210 and oh. says speed running these games is great! <laughs> it is! Oh my god! Thank you so much, Cameron. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome. And that that Wait, gets that us, us over yeah. Hundred. That gets us to three thousand five hundred and one dollars yes. and sixty nine cents. Okay, we're doing egg percent. We're doing egg percent. We have a marathon of Easter egg speed runs at the end of this event. Um, Carol is going to do the most unhinged speed run of Tomb of the Lost Queen you'll ever see. Um, thank you so much, Cameron. What a legend. Awesome. I'm so excited. That's awesome. And that brings us well over $75 for this yeah. one, so you <laughs> better whip true. out the flute. All right, we're doing it. Hopefully Discord will pick up the sound. If not, you'll get to watch me play. Hmm, I should investigate that chair when I can. Because everyone knows if you put an occupied sign on a chair, no one can see that <laughs> in a public place. Of course, the train station is also completely empty. Yep. This is also a really cool puzzle. I wish they'd done this one more. Yeah, I like this. Whoa, who is this note about? This game has some great puzzles. I think it's underrated, this game. I don't feel like we talk about it enough because it is both interesting from a character standpoint and also it has some good puzzles. But also some of it is completely bizarre, like it's the fact that yep. Samantha <laughs> Quick is here. They're like, oh hey, remember Samantha Quick from ten games ago? <laughs> I'll let you go. I do I tend to love the absolutely bonkers games, so I think that's yeah. why I like playing these. Oh, this plot is so good. <laughs> Ned is a ride or die for Nancy. This version no. of Ned is the best Ned. Yep. Is it strange? Oh, I guess the glasses. Whoa. Oh, that's a shit. That is such an ugly shirt. <laughs> like, <is> a... <laughs> uh, I have questions about the clothes they put these characters in. Yep. Some of them are really stylish, but some of them. <laughs> now we do a super fun go to the ground floor, talk to him, go to the ground floor, back again. <laughs> Talk to him again. Definitely not something. Talk to you later. So many skippable conversations. I know. You and change the security. I died while doing this for the first time yesterday. I didn't know you could die. I did not know you could die either. You actually get the same like gas in the elevator that you get when um later on we're stuck with zoe oh, yeah. which is kind of a like hint as to who the culprit is yeah huh interesting actually yeah yeah a little hand wave from zoe over there so you're breaking things now so you're always <laughs> Constantly and forever. <laughs> is this such a tricked out command center and no one is here? <laughs> I have so many questions about how this organization works. Because he's working for ostensibly the good guys. Yeah. Or he, he seems to be. <laughs> but it's like, I mean, the game is like. Yeah, you got that weird message, and they were pretending to send it from us, but we did not send it. <laughs> You're kind of on your own. Oh, where's the money? It was actually the terrorists that called you. <laughs> Give me the money. The elevator. <laughs> not now. <laughs> 
Time for a new test. Don't care. <laughs> now to figure out what it means. Um, for some more gliding. I don't think I ever actually solved the Jabberwocky puzzle on my own. I just used the oh, yeah. spoilers. Well, I'm not, I'm not I have the patience for this. Done. I'll give it some time, then check in with the program at the cabin. This is a weird detail, but the texture on the curtains is very pretty. That's true. Um, oh, I'm messing with the temperature, not talking to him. Just casually damaging all the servers in here, it's fine. Better not let you and catch me. to place the red end of a clip on a green symbol. It's really annoying that I have to do this puzzle twice. Yeah. This is exactly how a wiretap works. Yeah, totally. <laughs> totally. You just put Lego connectors on the wires. <laughs> oh, Nancy. But somehow, she figures it out. Well, it's like the electricity in the heater. Yeah. I do also like this puzzle though, when you're not trying to speed run it. Yes, when you're not speed running, this is fun. It's just hard to do fast unless you like really memorize each, like, I don't know, the most efficient way to put all these plugs together. I'm sure someone's done that. Yeah. The thing is for like this one, let's say, well, yeah, it's 28 or so through 30, through um, Sea of Darkness. They started doing a lot of like new puzzles that I hadn't they had yeah. the games before and then everything happened. So yeah. it's like disappointing because it's like, oh you guys came up, up with a lot of new and great puzzles. I know. Oh look, he left his bag here. Perfect timing. Mm -hmm. Let's see what you and your tiny little bag are up to, sir. <laughs> Tiny little bag. It's because Nancy carries around like a freaking tank or something to carry all her stuff in. A crossbow in her bag. It's fine. Yeah. She's like, where are you going to put your crossbow out? Time to figure this, <laughs> out. this puzzle's also, oh, really annoying to speed run. Yeah. That one is another one you just have to memorize the position. Yeah. Which I don't have. No. <laughs> Just have my nice little cheat sheet here. Oh, I want to tell chat that when I first printed out my, um, like, the run on paper, because I like to have it on paper, um, I printed it out in black and white mode because I wanted to save, you know, save money on the printer that I got, went to FedEx for. And I for, like totally forgot that half of these puzzles are like color coordinated, and the um, the tartan one, <laughs> I like, oh, couldn't tell what was happening at all. So I had oh, to no. print it. Um, diamond. Yeah, here. I do have like questions about the accessibility of these games. Great. Oh, uh, that's so true. Like I wonder a lot of the time about questions um, about like Music if you were colorblind and. Games, yeah. And I think the answer is unfortunately no for a lot of them. Read yep. If you're super interested in that kind of thing, I have a podcast episode about it, about accessibility right. in the games. Oh, really? On our Curlmeister sisters. So if you guys are interested in that, we have That's it. That's awesome. Yeah. That was a great episode. <laughs> Thanks. I did what you said. When are you going to keep your end of the bargain? Don't give me that. Devon is pointing out in chat that $200 means 40 facts. <laughs> don't have any more facts. I'm making that facts, but you don't want me to do that. I don't see anything wrong with making up spy facts. <laughs> I mean, super completely accurate spy facts. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys know that Nancy's mom is a bird? <laughs> And her dad's a golf ball. Why, why else would the code name be Kestrel? Oh, so true. We're all really just birds. 
Okay, I did find 10 cool facts about Scotland. Scotland is home to the tallest waterfall in Britain. I'm not going to try to pronounce the name, but it is 658 feet tall, which is three times the height of Niagara Falls. That's pretty cool. It has approximately 790 islands. This is also Edinburgh. Very cool. mm -hmm. must be one of her Edinburgh was the first city in the world to have its own fire brigade. <sighs> Scotland has over 600 square miles of freshwater lakes. Oh, nice. Uh, Locks. Fittingly for Carson Drew in this game, right. St. Andrew's Lynx is known as the home of golf. So <laughs> yes, the golf Scotland ball. <laughs> is known as the origin of, of golf. Uh, even though Edinburgh's capital is not the largest city, Glasgow is the largest. Oh. Uh, the raincoat was invented in Scotland by a name main, man named Charles McIntosh, who was born in Glasgow. And then some of the facts we already mentioned, so I didn't read them. <laughs> Um, famous people from Scotland, poet Robert Burns, who is featured in this game, uh, oh, J.M. Barry, author of Peter Pan, and Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, author of the Sherlock Holmes novels. Else? I'm literally just going, ooh, 34 fun Scotland facts you can impress friends with. <laughs> That's how I impress all my friends, personally. Mm -hmm. Scottish Highlands are home to the highest peaks in the UK. Nice. Not a lot of people live in the Highlands. It's one of the facts. Great fact. Uh, a Scottish guy invented the steam engine. His name oh, really? is James Watt. W-A-T-T. Uh, -T. He also gives oh. his unit of energy. And is credited with coming up with a measurement of horsepower, which is a terrible measurement. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Bagpipes are from Scotland. Yeah, I think we got that one. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> strange about the backing on these cards. Bridget, oh, Sam, no. Chloe, That's a misclick. You don't actually have to find this out. <laughs> Samantha Quick? She's a spy. Can't check it's okay. It's worth it. Exactly it is. If you don't do that, does she not change her identity for the rest of the no, game? No, she does. She, she already, already did. did. You just oh, okay. He's also Samantha Quinn. Yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. One of those passports was um, Greek, which was a nod to um, Labyrinth of Lies. I, I, I guess a hint to a future, the future Aww. game, Labyrinth of Lies. Nice. I have two more donations to read. The first one is from AGB and says, Let's go! For $10. <laughs> and then the second one is from AGB and it's another ten dollars and it says let's go with more O's in it. I wonder if that was a mistake. So, I wonder if maybe um I wonder if maybe that was a mistake, but thank you. <laughs> uh, there's there's no mistakes when you're donating money to charity. Is that a bug? Who is listening to me? We have the Romans really tried to invade Scotland, and then the comments underneath it say, but they couldn't. It was just too difficult. The rest of Britannia from around 42 AD had been relatively defenseless, but Scotland? Roman military only lasted about 40 years on and off in Scotland. Tough guys. So what happened? The Romans built a wall. <laughs> this case is in danger. Someone must tell him to run. The vaccinated will arrive while the rest of us are asleep. The vaccinated will arrive. I wish I knew what you were talking about. Carnitha. I wonder if that will turn up anything in the archives. Let's find out. Oh, uh, related to the fact earlier about whiskey, so I didn't say this, but whiskey spelled W H I S K Y, not W H I S. A E Y. Oh yes. Um, which is the Irish. So that is that is if I can get the deck of cards, Scotch I whiskey with no E. To find the formula. And my cat's back. <laughs> Good. We need to crack this code. 
this the like oh. files in there are also very interesting if you take the time to read all of them yeah, it's like are. hey remember back in japan uh savannah's assistant yeah he's one of our informants oh mm -hmm. all right. that makes sense i guess Yeah, there's a lot of optional dialogue and optional things you can read in this game. It's interesting. It's actually nice with speedrunning because you don't have to choose a lot of the dialogue. It kind of just, like, everyone says what they need to say right up front. Yeah. Beware the Jabberwock, my son. By finding the letters Take mom the indicated, a lot of talking right now. Encrypted text. Third purple. Fourth red, a code, all fifth right. blue, Looks like I'd sixth get brown, cracking. seventh aqua, eighth pink. Mom definitely hid a code in Jabberwocky. Here's a fact about the tartans you see in this game. Uh, your tartan shows what clan you're from, and so each clan has its own kind of symbolic tartan. So that's why at the end they have they have all the names associated with the terms mm. in the book. A fun fact about tartans is that they were partially invented uh, during the Victorian era. Mm. Um, yeah, the I would have thought they were much older than. No, apparently they're kind of fake, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's a block number, but she did set an icon for it. This is yep, yep, of course. She's like, this seems Fine. sufficiently sciencey. <laughs> Go to your room. Ah, another cutscene. Nancy does a lot of traveling back and forth in this game. I feel like she could do some of this with some phone calls, but you know, that's so no, big. <laughs> Let's practice. I'm sorry. I just can't. Like mother, like daughter, I see. Well, too bad. You know what? Devon in chat says caretaker is a terrible password, and she is so right. Like, why are there no special characters? No numbers? It's all lowercase or uppercase? Like, come on. That's why they got cut. Yeah. Exactly. They represent you. They find their way into every song I play. Every password in Nancy Drew games is bad, which is why we always crack it very easily. It's not important. You and your dad are all I can hear when I sit down to play. Then why are you leaving? Oh, you have no idea how much I want to tell you why, but I honestly can't. Why not? Just know this. If you knew, you would understand. Are you coming back? Terrible, terrible, terrible communication. That's awful. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh. oh, five minutes really. <laughs> oh, this this call oh, is really yeah. bad. I hate this. That's when they're like, "Don't you want to know what your mom's last words were?" Like, oh. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's. This is actually an incredibly dark game. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> And then you have it immediately followed by this cutscene. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm glad this the speedrun ends at the letter, because then you can stop, and then we don't all cry at the end. <laughs> yeah, but we do still get to see Kate's letter. Yes. Which is very sad, and... For a brief moment. Which yeah. the villain is terrible for writing all over what is wrong. Oh my god, you know. What happened? This is going to be bad. I was going to make a lot of weird noises. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, Ewan. <laughs> Are you okay? What happened? I'll let you... The sheet music from Dad. Wow, they clean up quickly here. Still, I should see if any clues were left behind. Yeah, that was an amazingly fast cleanup. Yeah, that was fast. <laughs> Even I skip for housekeeping. Speed running housekeeping. Laser pointer? Does that mean that Isn't that the bug that's on like Mel's in Mel's room? Oh yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. 
Does that count as a callback to a previous game for Bingo? Uh, I think so. Oh, I guess the myth of quick already counts, so... Also true. Hey, kid. Uh -oh. And that gives me Bingo. <laughs> I have to go. It's the cards. Don't mind me, Mora. I'm just getting back in your closet. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to you, but I will be in your closet. It's fine. She used to be friends with Kate. She this is, does it's not phase her. <laughs> True. <laughs> Can you imagine the long con that Kate played to, like, have her daughter and husband, like, memorize this piano piece that eventually leads them to this card? She is the crazy old man writing clues that <laughs> appears in every other game. Yes. Must be more cards somewhere. Have them. <laughs> <laughs> There's something hidden on these cards. Amazing deduction, Nancy. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, this puzzle is so hard. I hate it. Mm. I mean, I like playing it casually, but yeah, classic jigsaw. Yep. Kinda, I should, after I finish making my Nancy Drew puzzle spreadsheet, I should count up like what type of puzzle shows up most frequently. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a good idea. For some more data. Mm -hmm. Also, because it like doesn't line up the way you think it's going to. Let's go. Oh. See, Jigsaw, I just edited that for what I've counted. Yep. You know, which is most of the games at this point. And <laughs> the most are what I call applied knowledge, which is where you, like, find some information elsewhere in the game that you have to use to solve something. Yep. And then logic puzzles, which is kind of a broad category. And then yeah. Jigsaw's hey, the third, which is about what I guessed. I cannot even tell you how angry this scene makes me. That you spend all this time on these cards and then she just takes them. She just walks, she just walks up and it's like, here, I'm gonna just just grab this out of your hand gently. Down if you don't want to wake up with a concussion. She just resigns herself to getting gas too. I mean I guess there's not much you can do about it, but kind of them to not just use lethal gas, I guess. Yeah. They're like, yeah, we'll just put them to sleep to put them in, like, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Man, this game really is dark. Jeez. Come on, once more, huh? I'm never going to be as good as you. No, you're going to be better. Go home, Nancy Drew. It just turns like nightmare fuel. <laughs> Just leave them. Run. 
That was a really bad acid trip. Oh. Oh, the words just didn't match up with the. Yeah, that was over a little, I guess, behind the audio of the cutscene. Wait, is it happening again? Okay, now. Woo! <laughs> so we're back. Yeah. Okay, um, slider puzzles are actually my downfall, so cross your fingers mm. for me. That's another one that comes up a lot. Yeah. It'll be brief. Painful and full of garbage. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh. Here we go. There we go. Woo! Manscus, it's harsh. What are you going to do now? Great, I can use my oh. This is a speed run basically completely i guess part of it is because you're skipping dialogue but i feel like it also maybe totally skips the subplot that like alex's sister has been kidnapped yeah so it's mostly because i'm skipping the dialogue yeah um you but can also hear... go ahead oh you can hear it like in the um oh i need my glasses in the recording when i bugged him but i played something else it's like i called carson while that was happening and that Ooh, paper that, that... He gives you. Yeah, queer chat uh, in the chat, queer teacher twenty one. Am I crazy or is there a really rare, rare conversation Nancy can have with Carson where he talks about prosecuting really dangerous criminals back when he and Kate were young? That I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard of that conversation, but it's been a really long time this game. I mean like I feel like I feel like at some point he has had some, said something about like when he was a prosecutor, but that was mainly talking uh, in Alabama. Hmm. Yeah, he does say a lot in Alibi. It might have been real. There's a lot of um, games that just like have conversations that have really specific trigger. You know, just yeah. like in just right order. Yeah. I believe it. I think I might need to it, would, it would make sense for this game. But anyway, I was saying, yeah, Nancy doesn't really show a lot of, even in the full playthrough, Nancy doesn't show a ton of concern for Alex's missing sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just so like, oh, sucks. Yep. Too bad. <laughs> this must be the right coin. Maybe someone who knows how to look through the game audio files could look and, and see if they could find that missing conversation. Because there's been a lot that, like, even if people can't figure out the triggers for them, they can find the file. Yeah. Anyone can find it. Nancy Drew fans can. You we got nothing better to do lately. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Um, oh, did I have to take that? No. Okay, good. No, I'm going to take Kate's letter. You were so dramatic. So dramatic. Um, he thinks he is doing something like really cool and important. He, he I know. Like, no, actually, neither side cares about you. I found a secret. Everyone, enter the giveaway for the posters because they are very cool. They're so good. Take care. Lee and I were talking before the run about. I want to get one. I don't even know which one I like the best. Like, I like all of them. I like the Deception Island right. one, but that's so, also yeah. very specific to me. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, whoever wins, I want to, you have to, you have to say in chat which one you want, because I want to know. Yeah. They're all good. How many bombs do you think Ewan was able to make? What's my next move? 
smart money says if we disarm one bomb, the others will go. No one touches anything until I do like that they kind of loop everyone in on the last yeah. night. Like, it really adds a, a sense of tension to the game and excitement. It does. Does it, does it make much like... sense? Nancy's like, get the group chat in on, uh, on my headset. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do this. You heard me typing a second ago because I forgot to mute. No, you didn't. <laughs> we love a literal firewall. This won't stop me, you know, because I've already won. Why would you do this? Because I can. You used my mom to lure me here so you could get some stupid <laughs> formula. Formula. <laughs> now, are you? We're going to stop you. I love how this part when Zoe like knows exactly how to do everything and yet isn't doing it and then it's just telling Nancy how to do it instead. <laughs> like this is so above Nancy's pay grade. It's fine because her mom was a spy and that automatically makes her qualified yeah. like every other nepotistic thing she's ever done. <laughs> Seems really inefficient as a server. It's server. super inefficient. Like they're just storing stuff on flash drives. <laughs> uh, this is what? so insecure. I know. Super Purple. I don't think Cathedral deserves to lose. <laughs> well, look, also, look at the janky tartan they invented. <laughs> That said, this puzzle is cool. It's kind of like a different Sudoku style. It is cool. Yes. Think of those as groups. You'll place all of the drives onto the board, but there can be no repeating color in any group, column, or row. You're going to need to move faster. All right. Okay. We just <laughs> stop talking, and I will. That's why I feel every time she says that I'm like, uh, literally couldn't do anything till you stopped talking. Nancy is paralyzed until. I get more instructions. Like, it's rude to do that while someone's talking. <laughs> you must receive all instructions, which is something I'm not good at. <laughs> ah, it's so satisfying when they light up. Mm -hmm. Something very light bright about that. Yeah. <laughs> I think they look like tasty candies. Ah, uh, they do look yummy. It's just a giant cylinder of... <laughs> like, why is it in there? That's not a city center. No. It's a hotel. I mean, I guess you could diffuse it through a hotel. And yeah. Then people would presumably be leaving soon to go back home. Yeah. I think we've thought a lot more about how disease spreads than we did before this game came out. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> this is another interesting puzzle. Yeah, it is. I think, like, the first time I did it, I just whipped right in and every single time since, I've really struggled on, like, the third level. Oh, really? Yeah. This one's hard. I have the instructions for it. <laughs> just in case. Oh. 
don't know. What? Whoops. We're so close to the end. You can do it. Okay, now it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Bioweapons are no match for Nancy Drew. No, no match. I can't believe Nancy just ended COVID. <laughs> Incredible. I don't think they used the right... I think they wrote diffuse D-I-F-F-U-S-E-D, and I think it's diffuse D-E-F-U-C... Or D -E -F -U -S -E -D. Oh, really? Yeah, I just noticed that. That's funny. Excuse me, like, spread. That was time? That was 54.46. All right. That was so fast. Yay. Hey, time to pick the giveaway winner. It is. So I am closing the giveaway right now. I can't wait to see who wins. And let's draw the winner. The winner is Rooftop Song. Awesome. Hooray. But you know what Good else job. we did? You know what else we got though? Fucking, it... We got that. Uh... Oh, I have to, I have to change the scene. We're really in funny, right like half split screen situation right now. Yeah, give me a sec. Give me a sec. <laughs> We're doing this. Paige, you have to let us know in chat what what yeah, uh, you poster you're choosing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We got this. We're ready. We're ready for this amazing flute. Okay. I'm going to hop into on my phone. So, one sec. Can you see and hear me? We can. Okay. <laughs> you are in fact sideways, but that's okay. Um, that's because. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can prop you guys. There we go. There, okay. Yeah, that's better. So no, just a tiny out. bit. <laughs> do you like my uh, shirt from last year too? Also. We do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so just clear about this this is a piano piece so like you can't play two like notes and rhythms at once in the flute so i had to you know make a make it up a little bit and also the sound might go in and out but you'll get the gist of it so <laughs> here we go <laughs> okay first can you hear that yes Much. Uh, do you want to give a shout out to where we can find you? Anything like that? Um, you can find me on Discord. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> much all I got. But um, yeah, I'm down to chat. So awesome. Okay, thank you guys so much. We're going to be right back. We have a trail of the twister lined up next, so make sure you stick around. Hey guys, be right back. Excited.